Okay, we're ready for the last part of our problem. The last part says, prepare an income statement for the year. So let's get to it. I'm gonna to need to remember the name of the company and the date. Oh dear, I don't think I gave a date in this question. Well, the name of the company is Smith Company. Okay, so let's get going on with the income statement with what we do know. I'm gonna get a fresh page here. Uh, the name of our company, again, remember, anytime we're making a set of financial statements or a financial statement in accounting, we have a three-line title. Starts with the name of the company, Smith Company. The next line down, the name of the statement you're making. We're making an income statement. Balance sheets get dated as at or as of. Income statements get dated for the period ended. In this case, I'm going to assume it's What's happened to my pen here? For the year ended, and I'll just say last year, December 31st, 2012. Okay, so we've got a good title. Name of the company, name of the statement, and for the period ended, and I think it was for a year, and I'll just assume last year. I didn't see a date on here. So for the year ended, December 31st, 2012. All right, let's continue the next step is to start the income statement and the income statement generally starts with the revenues and we only had one revenue source in our company we had sales revenue and I'm just gonna have to dig through the journal entries to figure out my revenues and my expenses and there's my sales revenue 750 and just have a look through for any other revenues but I don't think there are any yeah we've just got sales revenue so we'll start there so our sales revenue was seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars we know whenever we sell inventory the next line down the expense with top billing is cost of goods sold and our company's cost of goods sold was there it is four hundred but I can't forget I also debited cost of goods sold in this special journal entry down here forty one grand so my cost of goods sold is four forty one so let's fill that account in 441 sales minus cost of goods sold equals gross margin or gross profit I like to call it gross margin 750 minus 441 is 309 the next thing to do is list our expenses and uh, we have selling and admin expenses we can also call these operating expenses and our selling and administrative expenses we're just going to look for anything with the word expense so no expenses in part a part b there's no expenses part c advertising expense so let's fill that in And our advertising expense was $35,000. Next up on our list is, let's see, advertising, next up on our list is selling and, and min salaries expense, 125. So selling and admin salaries expense. 125. Okay, next on our list, let's see. So we're up to selling and admin salaries expense. Next, E M O H, no expenses there. Next is insurance expense. Again, I'm looking for anything I've called an expense. And we have insurance expense. And I think that was for 10. I'll double check as I'm looking for my next one. Yeah, 10 for insurance expense. Next up, depreciation expense, 27. And let's see what's next on my list. Uh, going up to the expenses, the next one on my list is rent expense, 24. And I think that's it. Let's see, any other expenses? Rent expense, whip inventory, MOH, finished goods, nope. 
sales, cost of goods sold I've dealt with. So we're all set. We've got all of our expenses. Let's total up our expenses. Total selling and admin expenses. And it's just the total of this list. Can't do the total in my head, so I'm going to use a calculator here. 35 plus 125 plus 10 plus 27 plus 24 equals $221,000. And actually, I should have put that on the right-hand side, 221. Oh, 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 let me just erase that. There we are. So my gross margin was 309. My expenses were 221. 309 minus 221 equals 309 minus 221. $88,000 and that's how much money my company made. If we had income taxes we would call this line income before taxes or net income before taxes because we don't have any sign of income taxes uh, maybe we just kinda left that part out we're gonna just call this our net income and this is our company's profit here is our company's income statement I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see it all on one screen here or at least all the numbers on one screen got to zoom out a bit more and all it is is our summary of revenues and expenses for the year and you can see we had 750 in sales 441 in cost of goods sold sales minus cogs is gross margin then we deduct the rest of our operating expenses or our selling and admin expenses which were totaled to 221 our gross margin minus our selling and admin expenses equals our income before taxes in this case though because we had no income taxes at least there's no tax rate given or no information about taxes given we'll just call that our net income of eighty-eight thousand dollars that's it for this series of videos stay tuned for the next group